Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another review video. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the 2014 and 2019 Godzilla movies. <clears throat> so, essentially, Godzilla is one of those really rare um, franchise cases where... Um, you can always refresh it and do something new and do something different with it. There's not a specific um, story that they have to stick to or anything like that. And it's been done and redone. And uh, there's been so many different stories. I think that they're like on, what, 50 years or something of Godzilla movies. Um, so, first of all... I just want I just want to say that the Godzilla movies, you know, have been hit or miss or cheesy up to a point, but the nineteen ninety eight Godzilla, the uh, the American made Godzilla, was absolutely terrible, um, in my opinion, of course. Other people might find it enjoyable, but it was the first Godzilla movie that um, I was excited to go to theaters for and um you know my family was excited because it was new uh the graphics were going to be a lot better and everything and so you know they did pretty good graphics on the creature that they did make um but uh it was not godzilla um i'm actually really happy that later on in later godzilla movies they renamed that lizard monster thing Zilla. Um, so it's very much different than Godzilla, obviously. Um, Godzilla 2000 um, was a really good movie, I thought. Um, I remember going to see that, and I remember being, that being a really great Godzilla movie to see, <clears throat> especially after the terrific, horrible tragic 1998 version um and then Godzilla Final Wars and all those other movies but um the American made one I think that it's a joint between the the two um international and national uh venture for the 2014 Godzilla so the pros and the cons. So, the graphics and everything in the story for the 2014 Godzilla was actually really well done. Um, the actors, the actresses, the special effects, the story, you know, it was really nicely done. The only problem that I have with uh, that particular one is that it's a Godzilla movie. And every time they did show Godzilla, they cut away from him. Um, and he probably got a grand total of maybe five minutes total in the entire movie where they showed him. Um, that includes the cutaway clips. Uh, that's unacceptable. I don't know what they were thinking. Yes, they did do such a great job with the story and everything and character development and all that stuff but they dropped the ball with them. but on the plus side of that they got everything else right and Godzilla was cool again so there's that um so 2019 Godzilla uh I did not go to theaters and watch that one I did the 2014, but didn't the 2019. <clears throat> and the 2019 Godzilla was a pretty great movie. Uh, it had a lot of really great actors and actresses that um, I know from different uh, movies and shows and stuff that I love. Uh, the woman that plays for Lorraine Warren in the Conjuring series... Uh, was one of the lead actresses. Uh, the one kid from Stranger Things. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, the one guy is from 
Netflix's Bloodlines. Uh, they had Hen, Henrietta from the show 911, my favorite character on that show, and I loved her in this Godzilla movie. So, and um, Charles Dance was in this movie. So, it had a lot of great talent in this movie. Um, the the special effects were so much better. I, like, the 2014 stuff was really good, but they really looked awesome in this 2019 version. Like, all the monsters, King Ghidorah, Rodan, Mothra, uh, even Godzilla, like, everything was so great. The story, the special effects, obviously the acting, because they had nothing but great actors in this movie. And um, I like that they, the another problem with this one is that they, again, cut away from a lot of the monster stuff to show human stuff, but they did it less this time around than the 2014 version, which is better. So at least they learned their lesson, or are learning anyway, um, and are doing a better job. Uh, in my opinion, the 2019 Godzilla, King of All Monsters, is far superior to the 2014 one. Um, it is actually one of my all-time favorite Godzilla movies. Um, I bought it on 4K. Bought it on 4K. Look at that case. Look at that awesome case. So anyway. Um, oh, yeah. And here's the... Here's the guy from Bloodlines. Stranger Things. The Conjuring series. Well, I associate Charles Dance with the Underworld series, but he's been in so many things, and he's a superb actor, so... <clears throat> anyway, um, I do highly recommend it, the Godzilla King of All Monsters. It was a step up from the last Godzilla movie, um, and it really was a really great sequel to the first one, so it could have been a lot worse, but um, it turned out better than the last one. So as long as they keep moving in that direction and keep learning... Um, and stuff, it will just get better and better, and that's exactly, you know, what a creature feature is all about, and what we love about Godzilla and everything, and hopefully they'll show more of him in the future. And I thought it was cool that they were, that they called these monsters titans, I thought that, that was pretty awesome, and that they, and that King Ghidorah was actually an alien titan. He wasn't even originally from Earth. So, uh, I think that that is pretty cool. I like uh, the environmental stuff that they threw in there and the reasons behind it and the motives behind uh, decisions that were made. Uh, it made a lot more sense and it was more logical than most of the other creature features and Godzilla movies especially. So, I highly recommend Godzilla King of All Monsters. Um, if you haven't seen the 2014 Godzilla, you should still watch that. Um, it was good. Not great, but it was good. Um, I, I did think that Godzilla King of... King of the Monsters was... a pretty, pretty good, solid movie. Um, like I said, minor complaints is... For being a Godzilla movie, they're really sparing the time that they have with him to show him. So, I think that that needs to be changed up a little bit. I get it. I get that they're trying to tell a story and they're, they, you know, they're doing it for character development and they did really great. Uh, but at the end of the day, it is a Godzilla movie and with the technology and the special effects that they have nowadays they should have more more action between the monsters 
especially Godzilla since it's his movie. It is Godzilla, King of the Monsters. <clears throat> so, anyway, uh, other than that, superb movie, highly recommend it. Um, and I can't wait for the next one. The next one is Godzilla vs. King Kong. So, I ha still have to watch Kong, st um, Kong Skull Island. So, that will probably be my next movie review because I will be watching that. I also bought that on 4K. So, um, it's going to look pretty nice. So, um, that's all that I have for right now. And if you like my review, make sure that you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, guys, have a great night.